Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I made the crazy decision to travel this year. Um, we booked the trip around three weeks ago and the situation looked pretty good. The borders have um, opened again in Europe and we have booked a flight to Finland, which is about here. And from there we want to take a ferry down to Estonia and travel through the Baltic countries and then fly ho home from Lithuania. However, in the past weeks, the numbers are going up again and we're not sure if we're able to make it to all of the countries. And it's pretty hard to pack because we don't know which weather we are facing, if it's rather cold or hot. So that's a bit confusing and you need to be very spontaneous this year. traveling on trains, planes, trams, wearing our face masks. I think it's not mandatory in Finland, but we um, had to wear the masks in Germany and on the plane and at the airport. So it's, it's been pretty tiring with all the recycled air that you can breathe. <laughs> um, yeah, but now we've reached our final destination for today, Helsinki, and we got a nice hotel room on the 14th floor but we haven't had anything to eat yet, so we're going out for dinner now. So today we are trying Finnish food. We just had some reindeer and another local dish. And now I'm going to taste some licorice ice cream. It tastes just like the sweets. I really like it. Our first day in Helsinki has come to an end and we went to the Uspensky Cathedral right behind me to take pictures of the blue hour here. Sunset was about half an hour ago and we are hoping that it gets dark soon or that it gets dark at all. We have no idea because we're in the very north of Europe and the days are pretty long here. And again, we're having the perfect weather, 20 degrees and sunshine. So it's really nice to go out and explore. Yesterday we've been walking very much and we wanted to take it slow today, but I think we didn't manage to do this. We walked a lot um, today. And what I found out so far is that um, Helsinki seems to be very bike friendly. They always have a road for cars, then they have a line for the bikes and the pavement for everyone who's walking. So we were thinking maybe um, we could hire a bike if we stay here for longer. Um, that would have been pretty easy. But tomorrow we are going to Estonia, so we didn't uh, hire any bike or one of these scooters. Um, yeah, I also found out that the street signs are always written in Finnish and Swedish. Swedish helps me a little bit to understand what um, the street name means, because it's similar to Norwegian. And I also found out that the rain, which is coming from the roofs, is guided to a hole in the pavement. So every time when a tube is coming down from the roof, then there's a little hole in the pavement. It must be really weird to walk there with a bike or a scooter or a stroller. <laughs> Cafe right behind 
which are coming straight from the oven and we are going there to taste one of them. plan we wanted to visit four countries in 10 days from Finland to Lithuania and currently we're not sure if we're gonna make it to the last two countries so today Tuesday we are thinking that Estonia will be our last country which we are able to enter without um, self-isolation and we really want to avoid this but let's see <laughs> you will find out soon where we will end up <laughs> pictures right in front of our hotel because we've been walking 20,000 steps already and we didn't want to go any further. Um, what I realized in Finland is that you always get free water when you're in a restaurant or a cafe which is pretty nice. This afternoon we will leave Finland and travel to Estonia by ferry. It's a two-hour ride and we have to check out of the hotel now and go to the ferry. first day in Tallinn by um, taking pictures from an elevated viewpoint. We had nice views over the whole city and again we had to wait for the blue hour because I love it most. <laughs> and today is Thursday, um, it's 20th of August and the people here celebrate Independence Day. We didn't know this so I think all the shops might be closed today. However, um, tomorrow Latvia will announce the new corona numbers and we think that Germany Germany's numbers are too high already so today we cancelled our buses and as far as we understand we will get a full refund and we also booked one more night in our hotel here so we can stay until Saturday and then we will decide how we continue our journey It's called Tennis Kiwi and there's a lot of graffiti on the wall so I think we're also going to have some lunch here because there are many food stalls around and it's pretty cool.
it's Friday and we're still in Tallinn. Um, as we're not going to Latvia today, we decided that we want to visit some of the nature of Estonia and we booked a small trip to the closest national park, it's called Lahima National Park and we're going there in a small group tour of maximum eight passengers and I'm very excited to see uh, some of the nature here. That means you cannot walk there. This is why they uh, constructed some wooden pathway here, which we are not supposed to leave, otherwise, we will sink in the ground. More than half of the area of Estonia is covered with forests. Estonia is even more flat than the Netherlands and walking here is really easy. currently in an old fisher village and it's full of mosquitoes and I think we're happy when we can leave again before all of the skin has mosquito bites on it. Latvia has announced the new COVID numbers and Germany is um, at 16.5 according to their list. So that means that Germans who enter the country starting from today have to go in self-isolation for 14 days. So we are really glad that we didn't find out this information while we were traveling to Riga, which was planned for today. And um, now we have to find new options how we continue our journey. We could either stay in Tallinn or we could try to find a flight to Lithuania because we're still allowed to enter the country until Monday probably or we can uh, reschedule our flight home and go back to Germany so we will do some research and find the best available option for us We are very disappointed by the Lufthansa service because um, when we booked the flights um, they claimed that it would be easy to change the returning flight if something in our travel destination changes because of Corona and that's the case for us. We are not able to make it to our final destination and that's why we wanted to change the airport for the returning flight. But apparently this is not possible and even if we changed the dates for the original airports then we would have to pay the full ticket price. So we compared other airlines and in the end we just booked a new ticket for tomorrow because we're so fed up with the whole situation. We would have to um, enter Lithuania in the next two days otherwise um, Germans are not allowed in the country anymore. And this is the easiest solution for us now. It's not very pleasant, but it will be over in 24 hours. <laughs> minutes playing a game and then we will order the taxi 
and fly home.